Hello folks, welcome to Branson Guided Fishing Trips Weekly Fishing Report for Stockton Lake. Today is Thursday, April the 25th. Um, as far as the uh, walleye are concerned, there's a few biting still. It's not as good as it has been. Um, definitely slowed down. Uh, catching most of our fish on a, uh, on a jig and a night crawler uh, combination. Uh, seems to be the best for us. Uh, main lake, some secondary points and flats have been producing. As far as the bass are concerned, uh, still catching a few fish uh, with the right conditions on a jerk bait. Um, also catching quite a few fish uh, on a, uh, a Kitek swim bait. Uh, best jerk bait colors have been Clown and uh, Blue Bandit Spro Stick 110s. Um, as far as the Kitek colors, throwing a 3.3 and a 3.8 on a quarter ounce head. Uh, best colors have been Pro, Pro Blue Red, uh, Chartreuse and Blue, and uh, Silver Flash Minnow. Those have been the best colors. Um, catching a few fish uh, on a rock crawler, uh, an RK55, uh, Red Bug, uh, and Green Crop been the best two colors. Um, as far as the crappie are concerned, uh, crappie fishing is hit or miss each day. You know, you might catch them great in the morning and not in the evening or vice versa. You might catch them poorly in the morning and better in the afternoon and evening. Uh, seems to be the last two hours of the daylight or the first two hours of the morning are definitely the best. Um, depending on where you're at on the lake, as far as the main lake is concerned, uh, you know, there's still a pre-spawn bite, uh, brush at the mouth of staging pockets have been the best with uh, an eighth ounce jig and a minnow. As far as the fish up in the river and the creek arms, uh, most of the fish we're catching um, are in and around buck brush, uh, whether it be on the main river or in the spawning pockets themselves. Um, but pockets are definitely key. Um, having to use long rods and uh, you know drop right in the brush to catch most of them. Uh, some days you can catch them outside the brush but they are still real tight to the brush. Um, Bobby Garland Baby Shad, uh, Gumdrop, uh, Money Milk uh, have been the two best colors by far. Um, can catch a few on a jig and a 30 second or being a 30 second ounce under a float uh, with a minnow on it will produce the fish but day in and day out uh, the Bobby Garland baits uh, either dropped into the brush or fished around the brush are definitely key. Some days those fish may be 10 or 15 feet off the bank uh, but most of the time they're right up in there doing their thing. Uh, some days we catch them and they're spewing eggs. Some days we catch them they're not doing much. So um, you know these little fronts have affected it a little bit but for the most part day in and day out the fish are biting. Fishing's good. Um, Spent some time up there with Chris Nelson uh, at Stone Creek Lodge. Uh, he's catching them good. He's catching them uh, the same way I am. Um, as far as, you know, trying to get up here and get a good crappie trip and a white bass trip, white bass are still biting up Suns Creek and, you know, up past Greenfield, CC area. Uh, most of them fish bun on a, a red and pink uh, headed or an orange head and a white body uh, Roadrunner, Blakemore Roadrunner, uh, but they're biting good. There's a lot of them. Uh, I'm full. My schedule can't take any more for the next couple months, but uh, if you're trying to get in, Chris Nelson at Stone Creek Lodge will try to get you in up there. Um, give him a call up there. He's got, if you need tackle, you need bait, you need minnows, uh, you need food while you're up there on your fishing trips. Stop by the lodge up there. He's got about everything you need. So uh, good luck, good fishing. Till next week, we'll see you soon.